from Center Point customers tell ABC 13 they went through most of today without power after a powerful and fast moving storm came through our viewing area on Thursday. ABC 13's Liliana Pearson is in Northwest Harris County. Liliana, you spoke to a woman who had to throw out hundreds of dollars worth of food and medication after being without power for nearly 72 Tom, hours. Uh, Tom, I did. Her name is Robin Bennett. She tells me she had to throw away her insulin and two freezers worth of food after she lost her power during that storm on Thursday. She just got her power restored a couple hours ago, and she tells me that this is a major safety hazard to leave people this long without power. When the storm started brewing Thursday evening, then the rain came, but the strongest part was the wind. Robin Bennett, who lives in Klein, didn't expect this. The power, you know, flicked off a little bit. You know, it does that. And then it flicked the second time and it came back on. At the peak, Centerpoint Energy says they had around 230,000 outages with this part of the county being hardest hit. Bennett says nearly 72 hours without power and AC were grueling. I am insulin dependent. And when it's hot, my blood sugar drops and it was constantly dropping. With elderly neighbors on both sides, she started calling and emailing, but says Centerpoint kept pushing back her estimated fix time. She worries 72 hours without power could be catastrophic to somebody who relies on refrigerated medication like her. Honey, I'm gonna die. Or someone who needs medical equipment that plugs in. What about people who's on breathing machines? What about people who's who have to have their machines hooked up? She is filing an insurance claim, but worries it'll take a lot of effort to get back what she lost. Emotionally, there is not enough insurance money in the world to cover those last two nights. My insurance lady told me to get a letter from Centerpoint. Centerpoint can't even turn my lights on. How am I get a letter from them? And Centerpoint Energy told me today that with the extent of the damage that happened from that Thursday's storm, the speed in which they're fixing the power outages, they consider it to be on time. They tell me that they also do still have power outages. I asked them how many of those that are left are from the storm, but they couldn't tell me. From Klein, I'm Liliana Pearson, ABC 13 Eyewitness News.